Hey, Charlie. Ready? <gasps> Happy New Year! So, this Christmas, I got these really cool, awesome British things, didn't we? <laughs> I thought it would be fun to do a taste test of all these Britishy things. So later on in the year, we will be taking hikes and doing all the fun stuff, but we wanted to do some taste testing today. We have so many goodies, it's so exciting. We have Terry's chocolate orange. Apparently, the only way to eat this is to dip it into your tea. These are Marks and Spencer's candies. Candies that my, my good friend Joan brought back from London. We'll try some of these chocolates. And a Cadbury sampler. Karen and I will try a bite of one of these and see what we think. So we have this this cough, it's not something I can eat because I'm allergic to the ingredients. I'm allergic to wheat. So this is not one that I will be trying, but I'll bring Karen in. She's actually here. She's behind the camera. I'll let her try this one and she can tell me if it's any good or not. Some Heinz beans. You can't get any more British than beans on toast. Later on, I will try some beans on toast. So, we have some Prosecco. <laughs> Thanks, Joel and Leah. 1928 Prosecco! Funny story, when I first heard them talking about Prosecco, I was like, what the heck, are they talking about prosciutto? Like that Italian ham stuff? Duh, dork. But it's, <laughs> it's this drink. We have some tiny itty bitty little mi mini Christmas crackers that Karen and I will do. This is something that we um, have been doing for the past four-ish, five years since our mom passed away. We started a new tradition and we do Christmas crackers every year at our big family Christmas party. So this one isn't new to us, but um, it's still fun and we'll do it for you. always forever been obsessed with the British Isles. I got to go to Ireland when I was, gosh, 14 years old. I got to go to Ireland and it was a blast. I got to see the Cliffs of Moher. We looked at castles. We stayed in Dublin. Um, our dad did a DNA test and we found out that that guy is, you're not going to believe this, he is 92% British Isles. I guess, of course, we're a little, you know, British and Irish because I know that the country Ireland is not part of Britain. The Northern Ireland, Scotland, Wales, and England are Great Britain. I think that's right. And then you have the British Isles, which encompasses it all. So that's all I know. One of our longer term goals is to get to the British Isles. We want to get over there and get to England and Wales and Scotland and Ireland and Northern Ireland. And we want to ramble. We want to walk the, the footpaths that you all have. We want to um, rent a canal boat, one of those long boats, and go on the canals. Narrow boats. Narrow boats. We want to go on one of the narrow boats. Oh my gosh, wouldn't that be so much fun? Just meander down the canals. Oh, that would be so pretty and so fun. And then we want to stop and take hikes, but we also want to just explore Britain. We love to travel and it's a little hard to get to go overseas. There's a lot more to that. It is one of our longer term goals and we promise one day we will get there. So let's go ahead. Let's, let's stop with all this chitter chatter and let's test, taste test some of this. What do you think I should try first? Um, let's try... Let's try this orange and dip it in my tea. Ooh, guys, it's heavy. So it says whack and unwrap. Guys, this has got a heft to it. Let me let me go whack this on something. <laughs> I'll go whack this on the countertop. Okay. <laughs> Whoops. I whacked the heck out of this thing, so let's see if I know how to get into it. I'm so excited. I can't wait to taste this. Oh my gosh, look at this. Can you see that? That is so cool. 
All right, here we go. Take one of these slices and dip it in my tea. Oh, and ba 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 da da da. This tiny little orange, and I'm gonna dip it into my tea. Okay, here we go. Oh my goodness. Yep, that is good. Oh my goodness, that is so good. I could eat that entire orange, I'm telling you. Hmm. That is going to start off really high. I'm giving that like a 9 out of 10. That is amazing. Hmm. Would you like some? <laughs> it's 9 out of 10 and I've left nowhere to go. But guys, you got to try that. What's the God Save the Queen tune? <laughs> My country tis of the... Oh wait. Queen. God save the queen. Or... We're a little mixed up here. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, and the tea I'm drinking is Irish breakfast because I like uh, my tea strong. Mm. Royal Albert. <laughs> How's that? You like my accent? <laughs> Royal Albert. I have these white chocolate buttons. Okay. They literally are these tiny, itty bitty little buttons. They taste like melting chocolate. They're pretty good. They're not bad at all. I would say a seven or eight. Seven or eight. They're pretty good. Break into the Cadbury. It's nothing but chocolate. They're sensing a theme here. <laughs> so the peanut gallery said that I might need a drink in between. I think she is right. I'm getting a little sweeted out. <laughs> a cat leaps into the picture. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's get this. Mm. Oh, look, more buttons. These are chocolate buttons. We have a fudge bar, a double decker. Something called a, a crunchy or a, a whisk. You might want to check those ingredients. Well, I guess it's not a whisk, but the whisk. Uh... Okay, I'm gonna try the whisk. Whisper. I'm gonna try the whisk. Light and fluffy. It's like they took chocolate and they aerated it. It's good. It's chocolate. I'm gonna give it a. I'm gonna give it a six. Biscoff. This is something that we found out from a couple of YouTubers that we watched. Joel and Leah. Hi, Joel and Leah. Ooh, they're individually wrapped. That's pretty good. I don't think it's as good as our graham crackers. If someone had fixed me a tea, I could dip this, but she didn't. So I think, having not tasted all of the others, I'd probably rank this a solid seven and a half. I 100% approve of the packaging. That's very cute. That is adorable. Um, I think I'll try the, the double decker. It kind of looks like our Milky Way. Maybe a Three Musketeer. Oh. That, that's a thumbs up. It's kind of got Three Musketeer top. And some kind of whiskey cookie thing on the bottom. That's good, that's a solid nine. Smell the beans themselves, smell vinegary and tomatoey. So, I got my uh, Udi's gluten free bread so that I don't die. And I checked the ingredients on the beans. 
I can eat them. So here we go. Taste test. Get a good bite here. There we go. Mmm. Fun. It's beans on toast. <laughs> well, let me just try the, the beans here. Let me see what I think of just the beans. They're good. They're not bad. Um, almost, almost like pork and beans. It's not at all like our barbecued beans. And it's not bad on the bread at all. It's, it's pretty good, to be honest. It's not the first time I've ever had beans on bread. Every 4th of July or cookout, so, um, I don't really know what to say. It's not bad at all. Um, it's a good five, maybe six. It's not... It's not bad. I'm telling you, it's not bad. It's not like knock my socks off either. So there we go. Beans on toast. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> oh, <man. coughs> um, oh, ow! my jaws. She never ever drinks, and I rarely do. So to say we're fans of this. Would be an out and out lie. Sorry, Joel and Leah. Happy New Year. It'll just be us going, Happy New Year. So, what is it for you? What would you rank this? Oh, if I'm being honest, a 0 0.1. Like, I really, really don't enjoy this at all. Now, we're going to try some Christmas crackers. Ready? One, two, three. Nothing? A I piece got of paper? A big, huge piece of paper. Charades. It tells me how to play charades. What's the difference between the Christmas alphabet and the ordinary alphabet? The Christmas alphabet has no L. No L. Ah, <laughs> ah, <laughs> okay. What did the grape say when the elephant stepped on it? I don't know. What did the grape say when the elephant stepped on it? Nothing. It just let out a little whine. <laughs> How does a snowman get to work? I don't know. Oh, by icicle. <laughs> and this one you're going to know. This is just a good question. From which country does the poinsettia originate? I'm going to go with Mexico. Ding, 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 ding. Mexico. And what is New Year's Eve called in Scotland? You should know this. Hogs watch... many? Yes, or something like that. <laughs> Yay! Yay! May old acquaintance be forgot. Da-da-da. The end. Da-da!